So this is an actual update video on the Magic C N5 TV box review I'd done just two days ago now. And a member of one of our subscribers has pulled the U-boot and a few different things from the original N5 firmware, which unfortunately I lost because I broke this. And he put it onto the Android TV Experience firmware that I was trying to install onto this. And it worked. He sent me the link, downloaded it, and it works perfectly with USB burning tool. And as well as that, it boots into it as well, which is even better. So big thanks to you. And yeah, I couldn't have done this without you, I don't think. Um, I certainly didn't think of that idea myself of putting uh, the original firmware. I actually couldn't find the original N5 firmware anywhere. So I don't know where you got it from, but it wasn't even on the Magic C website. But anyway, so it's all working. The only thing that doesn't work is the front clock. Not a big deal. Certainly not a complaint from me. I'm just, fan I'm just over the moon that this actually works again. So we can actually try this S95X version of the Android TV experience. Because I don't have any other S95X boxes lying around at the moment. I did have one and I used it quite a lot on this channel. But I can't seem to find it. No idea where it's gone. But anyway, this is the Android TV experience. The one, a couple of problems with it it probably does need tweaked for this particular hardware and you know it's a little bit slow and the resolution doesn't seem to want to set itself properly but you know that's not a complaint at all it's just uh, some obvious observations of the actual performance of it so what i really wanted to do is actually find out if this improved the actual playback of those jellyfish files i'd shown you guys now the files are in mkv and there's so many different types of file types and I'm a total noob really when it comes to it. There's so many different types. I mean, when I was growing up, there was only a handful, but now there's different versions for streaming, for TVs and, and your mobile phones and so on. So there's a lot going on. And yeah, I'm a total bit of a noob when it comes to that sort of stuff. So if I'm doing this totally wrong, if I've chosen the wrong type of file to actually test um, 4K and 1080p, etc., do tell me in the comment section below and I'll I'll try again. But I've got those two files. So I've got the 1080p at 55 frames a second and I've got the 4K 140 frames a second, I think it was, or something along those lines. And it basically those two files are meant to test whether your device can handle pretty much the you know the best resolution you're gonna get, you know, through streaming and stuff like that. But that's the idea, I think. So we're going to go and try and play it. So the first thing I'm going to try is through VLC player. Uh, I find that that's probably one of the most stable Android media players, apart from Kodi, of course. And for, and for streaming and stuff like that, maybe you're using a streaming service or, you know, dare I say, you're using Showbox, Terrarium. But Terrarium is not around anymore, but like the likes of Showbox. It's not stuff we really talk about on this channel, but... Not 55 frames a second, sorry. So it's 55 megabytes per second. That's the sort of frame. That's the sort of file it is. Now that's a full 1920 by 1080p, and it's a .mkv file, H.264 as well. Again, I'm you know I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to stuff like that. So we're going to test that one first, and I'm going to try the actual 4K one. So it's probably not going to show up that great on the camera, to be honest with you. But yeah, it's looking good. It looks all right to me. Everything's playing nice and smoothly. There's no stuttering or anything like that. It was a bit like that just on the previous firmware. So probably not, not a big difference there, I wouldn't have thought. But yeah, looking all good to me. So we're going to try this 4K file. Now this is the 4K TV. I must stress that. This is not a 4K TV. So it's going to downscale this. But if we play it again... It's a horrible, horrible mess. And yeah, it's all stuttering. See all the artifacts and stuff like showing up. So, what is that? Is that just purely because it's not a 4K TV? See, I don't know. I'm not, and it just gives up at that point. I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs of... Um, file format and stuff like that, what can play and what and what does this. I'm not that much of an expert when it comes to that sort of stuff. But I'm sure you can tell me in the comment section, I really do need to get 4K TV and then I can, you know, determine myself and that. But 
But for now, I'm not entirely sure. As far as I'm aware, you know, it's just still not playing those files properly. Now, as far as, you know, playing other things, I'm sure it's absolutely fine. Well, let's go into Kodi and see how it performs with, um, you know, the Kodi media player. I mean, I put YouTube and stuff like that. We'll have a look at that in a second just to see how it streams stuff. But, um, yeah, so turn this down. I think I've uh, turned off hardware acceleration. I know you do need to do that. I mean, years ago, everyone was saying you need to turn on hardware acceleration and stuff like that. I still don't really, um, uh, file manager, USB drive. Now, I have tested this previously on the actual files on the actual storage inside the box and it's exactly the same. But anyway, we'll try this um, 55 um, megabytes a second file. See, can you see that? It's not running very well at all. Still, and that's a 1080p file. Cody's struggling with that. Don't know why. Maybe you guys can tell me why that might be. Maybe there's a setting I need to change. But, um, yeah, that's not playing very nicely at all. We'll go and try that 4K one. Again, it's not a 4K TV. And it would just downscale everything. And look at that mess. Horrible, horrible mess. So, has to be something to do with the hardware. Has to be. And I suspect it's just cheap. It is just cheap hardware. But, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure the Android TV experience is certainly going to improve things that little bit more. But, you know, still, guys, don't buy that box. Just don't buy it. There's much better cheaper uh, as cheap devices out there that um you know would, would do so much better than this i mean the the x96 mini for example is a hell of a lot better that s905 w processor although it can't handle 4k 60 frames a second just it's limited to 30 it's it just seems to be better better devices i think all the devices i've looked at with the s905 w seem to be pretty decent and you know if you put firmware like this on from the guys over at Android TV Experience, you know, it, it just makes things so much better. But there we go. Of course, you could use LibreLec as well. And the LibreLec is a dedicated operating system to running Kodi. And if it's Kodi that you're after, then LibreLec is the way forward for you guys. Or CoreLec even, because LibreLec is no longer supporting that logic. It's CoreLec. So if you guys want to, you know, purely run that. You could also dual boot, dual boot it as well. Um, and you can boot that from your SD card tray. Not tried it on this particular box, no idea if it will actually boot. I'm suspecting it's not. There's some, there's definitely hardware design issues going on here, and yeah, it's just not working the same way I expect most cheap TV boxes to work. But anyway, so just adjust this camera just a little bit, um, so you can see the screen a bit better. And yeah, we're gonna go to you, so on YouTube now, we're gonna do a bit of streaming of our video, so find my out oh, this channel my, my channel <laughs> uh, they aren't here. um so there so let's see how it streams now now the last time i've done this on the original firmware i don't think it was too bad um let's have a look at see what sort of resolutions we can get out stats for nerds Oh dear. So you can fully see this flickering. It's dropping frames like crazy. Yeah. Yeah, can you see the flickering going on? Ah, oh, there's something not right, is there? There really isn't. There really isn't something not right. And um, you know what? It's not the Android TV experience firmware because I have tested that a lot on other boxes. It's not you guys. If you're watching this right now, it's not you. This hardware is really poor, and I've not seen poor hardware like this in a long, long time. Anyway, let's move on. There we go. So we've certainly come a long way with this cheap TV box, the M5. There's a, a bit of a way to go, because it isn't working that great, even with this firmware. So it's a, kind of the same sort of um, 
sort of UI performance as the old firmware and normally I'm used to this Android TV experience being really quickly so running really quick so there's there's an issue there somewhere but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video give you a bit of insight into problems we come across with hardware like this and think and ways we can um, get around it thanks again for watching we shall see you very soon